Yeah. Excuse the hairdo. Actually sweat a little bit. But this house is built in the, I'm gonna say in the 1920s. Most of them are very beautiful house. All the same old architecture and everything they, that they used. Unfortunately, uh, what they do is they, you have house flippers in here because houses are very cheap around here. They flip them, they double their money, it's really quick, but they do hack shit jobs. Now take a look at what I have in this plug here. And I'll let you watch me do this. Take a look. All right. My tester shows everything's working just great, correct? All right. Well, I know that these houses are built in the 20s and they didn't start adding grounds. All right, I'm doing this with one hand, bear with me. Not like I'm some drunk with shaky hands. Wait a minute, maybe I am. But anyways, so I know that they're built in the 20s and I know that they didn't start putting grounds. Whoops, sorry about that. They didn't start putting grounds in these things in the wiring till somewhere in the 50s or 60s. So let's just make sure and see why the things show them correct. First of all, you need tamper resistant outlets in any outlet that's under five foot from the ground. Oh, look at this wiring. And wouldn't you know it, I tell you what, so they jumped from the neutral to the ground to fold the tester. See, the inspectors aren't stupid. They know that these houses don't have grounds in them. But house flippers and private inspectors don't know that. House flippers will do anything they can to rig it up to make it so they could sell it. But now we've got voltage, not only on the hot, but because uh, we have alternating current, we have voltage on the neutral and now on the ground. So it's nowhere for that to go, but through you. So what do you do? Well, you take out all the plugs and you put in the two prong outlets. That's one thing you can do, but that sucks. You can clip off the ground from the neutral, you're safe, but you still don't have a ground either way. And it's illegal. You could put a GFI at the front of that circuit and protect all of the outlets. But if that trips and you're in the bathroom on that circuit, lights are out, then you gotta look around for that GFI. You could put the circuits on a GFI breaker. Well, but if two circuits are sharing the neutral, they're, which they're tied together a lot in, in the switches, the GFIs won't work. So the real only legal alternative, aside from wiring it, correctly, which this house the size of this, I'd probably charge about $15,000 or so to wire it, it'd be a hell of a mess. Or you go two prong outlets, but this is what you get. Something to look for. You got an old house pre-1950s, uh, or pre-1960s even, and it's showing that everything's grounded. Your first indication is that there's not a tamper-proof receptacle in there. Second indication is that they're brand new. Third indication is that they're correct. You know now that that neutral could possibly be tied to that ground. And instead of the voltage going through a ground and to a drain, let's just say we, for all intents and purposes, it's a drain. The ground is so it dissipates in the ground if you have a fault in it. Now it goes through you. Now the ground has voltage on it. It's not going down into the ground. It's coming to you. You can get killed. You can get killed easy. Um, not easy, but you can potentially get killed. So I'm gonna sit here and make some, you know, big, you know, make a giant deal of it, but it is a giant deal. Not only is it illegal, it's a hazard, a big time hazard. So something to look for, that's your, I guess we'll just call it a tip of the day. Fair enough, and the other tip is get done quick. I mean, tacos are out there, there's beer. You think that that's not dancing in my head? It's noon, but I don't do that shit during working hours, but I do do that shit after work. And uh, I'm gonna do that shit today. So these people bought a house, it was obviously a flipped house. They came in, plugs were wrong, you could tell. I went over a video of that you could tell because the plugs were grounded plugs. It showed ground. You know there's no grounds when you have a house that's built in 1920. Also, you need to know when the hack is, has been present in your house. 
Those are painters. Those are carpenters who think that they know electrical. First thing first, look here. There's no bond on my water meter. It's supposed to be bonded all the way back to the panel. Nothing there. Huh. It's a brand new panel, obviously. Nice and jiggly. A brand new panel. And look at all these wires. You know there's two. These are 240 volt. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 of them. Huh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 breakers. Now, I can't do this with one hand. So let me take this panel cover off. You should never be afraid to take a panel cover off. This is your house. You know, um, I'm an electrician. I like making money. But never be afraid to take your panel cover off. This is your house. Don't be afraid to take your toilet out. You don't need to call an electrician or a plumber to work on your house. Don't be afraid. You have to get your hands dirty sometimes. I don't care if you're a brain surgeon or you're a guy who cleans out, you know, port of shitters for a living. You have to get in there and get dirty and see what it is because it's your house. It's your investment. You got to know if it's right or wrong and if your family's safe. So here we go. I'm going to take this panel cover off and we'll see what they did. Well, here's exactly what they did, just as, sus ugh, just as suspected. Yeah, just tie those neutrals together, you know, two circuits into one, instead of putting them under the bus bar properly. Look at the doubled up wires on the breakers. You got a brand new panel. Why don't you just put more breakers in? Freaking stupid is this? Look at all of them. So, so you got two circuits on one breaker. So I'll just put a heavier breaker in. That ought to do it. These hacks. These people who flip houses and they give it to the painters. I'm working for a company worth $66 billion. And you know what they do? They have the carpenters and the painters do the, what they call quote unquote, um, cosmetic work. There's nothing cosmetic about electrical. And uh, this is what pisses me off. These people bought this house. That they know a hack's been in here. This could have been a bargaining tool for them. Take off the frickin' panel cover and see what you're up against. Just how sloppy it is. My panels are neat, beautiful when I get done. Something to be proud of. This thing, those aren't even the proper, even the connectors are wrong. Those are for EMT, those are for pipe. Look at that one, doesn't even have a screw in it. The service entrance cable doesn't even have a connector on it. All the shit that they do, and they stick their hand out to be paid. They won't hire an electrician. I don't cost much more than a handyman, but this is what you end up with. So, be vigilant. We're, we're against those handymen. I'm sorry, handymen out there. There's, you guys are good. But stick to painting and carpentry and all the other sort of good shit that you do. Don't touch your electrician's work. And don't try to sell people that you're, you can do it. I can do electrical. Yeah, I'll let you put in a light bulb or a light fixture or something or other. But... If you're not licensed, don't take on the jobs because when you kill somebody, it's on you. It's on your conscience. You go to jail. Your kid's got no dad or mom or whoever does all this hack work. So to all you hacks out there, you're my enemy and you're the ones who do this and I lose work to you. So, okay, signing off once again, but uh, I'll show this video when I'm done with it, how pretty this is gonna look and legal. I'm gonna ground and bond the service put the right breakers in, and I'm gonna clean this thing up. You'll see. Okay, well, we're done. Well, at least done with this part. So what we got going is properly bonded the service. Look at, here we go. So it's continuous from one side that comes from the street across the meter on the other side of the meter. Continuous, you have to mount against the wall. That's how it is in Michigan. Anchor to the wall, continuous green or bare copper for the bonding, number six for a 100 amp. How they had this was, this wire was just stuffed up in a joist to make you think that you had a ground and it was actually under the bus bar. Well, this is as clean as I can get it. And personally, I think it looks pretty freaking good. They had seven circuits doubled up, but uh, this is the difference between a good job and a hack job. And, uh, yeah, I'm proud to say that I am the best. I don't care what anybody else says. Everybody else is second best. I am the best. 
but I'm not mad at every handyman. Don't get me wrong. A lot of great handymen out there. But if you're one of these hacks and you just you don't know what you're doing, leave it alone. There's a lot of great handymen out there. And uh, shit, I need you at my house. So a lot of great home inspectors, but a lot of them let the shit go like this. They should just get out of the trade altogether. They stick their hand out and they rob these uh, poor homeowners who don't know any better. With all this said, you know what time it is, right? Am I looking hungry? Am I, did I get any thinner? I just came back from California. There's a whole bunch of tacos there. It was freaking awesome. But uh, you know what time it is. So until next time. Well, we know what time it is. First of all, let me say I was a little harsh on handymen and uh, the house flippers. A lot of good guys out there doing a lot of good work. I'm just talking about the hacks. So here I sit. My Chevy Impala, 66 convertible, car I always wanted. Nothing worked, dashboard lights didn't work, a lot of electrical problems. The uh, speedometer cable didn't work, so man, I had to take the steering wheel off, pull that out of there, pull uh, pull the cluster instrumentation, the stereo, everything else out of there, you know. So I've been doing this a while. I figured I could do electrical work on a car too. Put it all back in there, it's nice and tight, you know what? Nothing fucking works on this thing either. Same as it was before. So I guess I'm guilty of being a hack too. If you can't do it, pay somebody to do it. Cause, but I mean, here I am and uh, I think I can do it, electrical, but no, no. Nothing works. I want to go cruising in this baby, but I don't even have a speedometer. The speedometer doesn't even work. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't pretend to. So, well, I did pretend to and I dropped the ball on it. So, but, what that brings us to, after all this work is said and done, it's taco time. <laughs> 66 and Paul are not. I still got my tacos in here, baby. Hmm? Damn. Shoot me down. Say what? A couple tacos, we're cruising. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, it takes such big bites, takes so long for me to talk. So, Okay, pig is what it is. Look at me. See, I can look at this every day in the mirror. I know what this is. You're going to tell me, hey, you don't look starving. I get it. I know. Oh, God. Salt and lime on the rim. To wash it down well. I'm obviously not going cruising. Nothing works in the damn car. It'll start up and go, but I'll be going 80 down the road and a 35, and you know, and I've been drinking, so even one drink, never drink and drive. I don't do it. I'd rather take a shitty little Uber than this bad mofo. So look for a veteran training program. Look for that, click on it, like it. We're trying to train veterans. Look for the program on, on our video selections. I'll, we'll point you in the right direction. We'll have a link to it. Too long to explain the whole thing. So I did one video. You listen to it, share it, see what you can do with it. Uh, like us on Facebook and everything else. We're trying to bring awareness. Not only are we trying to teach people, keep them safe. We're trying to teach them beginner electrical stuff. I'm not trying to get too intricate with anybody. I'm not a teacher. I'm just I'm just a guy just like anybody else on a construction site. That's uh, just what I do, and this is what I do every day. I'm a one-man show. And I'm trying to put veterans to work, and I'm just a small shop. I can't put them all to work. So I've been placing them with other um, contractors. So that's what I do, and that's why I do this. So share it, like it, and uh, I want to say thank you to everybody for all the support. Any questions, leave a comment, anything like that. Negative comments, racist shit, uh, politics, religion won't be answered. I don't play that, man. It's... Uh, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time, and that's the way I that's the way I dig it, you know. So it is what it is. Alright. Thank you so much you guys. Be safe out there. Keep your eyes open.